What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Quinway, Quinny W20 here. 24, 10 rebounds, 3 blocks, 1 steal, 55% from the field, 83 from the free throw line, 60% true shooting. Anthony Davis is a monster, people. Look at he draws fouls. He he can score in the post. A lot of people say if he develop a post game, he'd be good. He already got a post game. He can score in a high post. He can spin around. He can go around the defender. He can shoot uh face the defender up and knock down a jump shot. You can see that he's so quick. He gets out on a break. He's fast. He's like a gazelle. He just runs and just catch alley oops, catch dunks, draw fouls, shoot jump shots. He's just so quick and explosive at six ten. And he just gets on a fast break. He runs the break. He gets the rebound and runs. Anthony Davis is virtually unguardable because he's quicker than any power forward in the league, which is ridiculous. Another thing about him, he can shoot like crazy. His jump shot is very, very refined. He used to couldn't shoot his rookie year. His sophomore year, he got a whole lot better. And now he can shoot. He's shooting 48% from the uh, – he's shooting 48% from – two-point shots from mid-range jump shot, which is crazy to shoot almost 50 may half your jump shots when they you wide open, faced up. But look, best part about this game is that he can put the ball on the floor and create, and he can finish in the paint even with fouls. And he can get out and run on a break and get dunks and get layups and get tip dunks, get rebounds. He averaging 10 a game. He gets a lot of putbacks which is very good. I love Anthony Davis' game. He really has blossomed into an all-star starter. Now he's an MVP candidate, and he's one of the top five players in the league. He's a two-way player. As you see, he's getting 1.5 steals, and he's getting 2.8 blocks, but he's still getting 24 points and 10 rebounds. And you're going to see a lot of his defense in these, uh, in these highlights. He, he forced people to go the wrong way. He forced people into double teams. He gets steals. And he, force, and he forces you to play on straight up. And he can get a block because he can reach over you. And another thing about Anthony Davis, he covers a lot of space. He can give you a lot of space, but he can come back and just get a block. Like, he can just cover, like you've seen in some of these blocks. He just comes and just blocks it from nowhere, out of nowhere. He just covers so much damn space. It's ridiculous how quick he is and athletic. When he was drafted number one, he was a prospect. He was like Andrew Wiggins. They drafted him for his potential. He's tall, he's athletic, he's quick, and he's long. But they didn't suspect his jump shot to get better in his second year and his finishing ability to get that good. He bulked up, and now he can finish with contact, and now he can catch alley-oops and dunks because he can finish. And he's so big and strong now since he got over 30 pounds of muscle since he's been – I mean, uh, 30 pounds of weight. He's been growing and getting bigger. It's hard to start playing on post. Now he can bump you and finish. He can bump you and dunk over you. He can bump you, get the foul, and still finish. And you can't really do nothing because he can shoot a jump shot. You don't want him to shoot the jump shot so he goes right around you. You don't want him to go right around you. You got to give him the jump shot. You you cancel both of them. He draws a foul. So he became a dual threat on the uh, offensive end. And his free throw shooting is another thing. He's shooting 80%, so you don't want to foul him because he can knock down free throws. But his rebounding has was amazing at the beginning of the season. He was averaging 12 rebounds a game. Since Omar Asha came back, he went down to 10 a game, which is pretty good. It's still good. 20 and 10. 25 and 10 is ridiculous. And he's shooting 55% from the field because he gets a lot of alley-oops, a lot of dunks, a lot of putbacks, a lot. Of, and like I said, he's shooting 48% from the mid-range shot. He's efficient. That's ridiculous for him to shoot that high of a percentage. But you look at his basketball IQ and you see how smart he is when he's scoring. And you see how he picks his spots when to score. But his defense, as you've seen in some of these highlights, he's a good one-on-one -on -one defender. He gives you a lot of space. If you if you do pull up, he can cover the ground. He's so long and he got so much good timing on his blocks. He can reach over and still block your shot. Or he can just get a steal. You've seen what he did to Nerlens Noel. He let him put down his dribble. He canceled him for moving the other way. He went right for the steal and picked it up. And you see him playing, he pays in the passing lanes. If he see you do a stupid pass, he's quick enough and long enough to cover a lot of ground and get the steal. Anthony Davis is a beautiful player. He's going to be an MVP in this league. He still got a chance to win MVP because his team has a chance to make the playoffs. The Phoenix Suns just lost. 
if they can beat the Utah Jazz, they can come up. They'd be a half game behind the Phoenix Suns. If they can make the eighth seed, he's putting up 24-10 on 55% shooting, 83% from the free throw line. And he's getting 2.8 blocks and 1.5 steals. I think you got to give Anthony Davis a real look at being an MVP if he can make the playoffs. They always say if he can't make the playoffs, he can't be MVP. If he can pass Phoenix up, they get Drew Holiday back too. They can make a run. They can win seven games in a row. They got an easy schedule right now. They can win seven of them. Phoenix lose two of them. They can get a two-game lead and build on it by the end of the season. The Pelicans got a legitimate shot of making the playoffs. And if he does make the playoffs with the Pelicans, you have to give him consideration for being the MVP candidate. Let me know what you guys think. Comment, like, subscribe, and share. And check out my older videos. And if you and thanks for the view. Thanks for watching the video. Peace.